Welcome to video 6 for this unit on functions. In this video, we're going to focus on piecewise and absolute value functions. A piecewise function is a function defined using different expressions for different intervals in its domain. Here is a graph that represents the train fare in dollars for a child who is t years old, based on these rules. Free for children under 5, $5 for children who are at least 5 but younger than 11, and $7 for children who are at least 11 but younger than 16. The different prices for different ages tells us that the function is a piecewise function. It is important to consider the value of the function at the points where the rule changes or where the graph is disconnected breaks. For instance, when a child is exactly 5 years old, is the ride free or does it cost $5? On the graph, one segment ends at 5, 0 and another segment starts at 5, 5. But the function cannot have both 0 and 5 as outputs when the input is 5. Based on the fare rules, the ride is free only if the child is under 5, which means f of 5 equals 0 is false. On the graph, the point 5, comma, 0 is marked with an open circle to indicate that it is not included in the first segment. f of 5 equals 5 is true. The point 5, 5 has a solid circle to indicate that it is included in the middle segment. The ride costs $5 when the child is exactly 5 years old. The fare rules can be expressed with function notation where f of x equals 0 when x is greater than 0 and less than 5. f of x equals 5 when x is greater than or equal to 5 and less than 11. And f of x equals 7 when x is greater than or equal to 11 and less than 16. Have you played a number guessing game where the guess that is closest to a target number wins? In such a game, it doesn't matter if the guess is above or below the target number. What matters is how far off the guess is from the target number, or the absolute guessing error. The smaller the absolute guessing error, or the closer it is to zero, the better. Suppose eight people made these guesses for the number of pretzels in a jar. 14, 15, 19, 21, 23, 24, 26, and 28. If the actual number of pretzels is 22, the absolute guessing error of each number is as shown. Twenty-one and twenty-three are both winning guesses. Even though one number is an underestimate and the other an overestimate, 21 and 23 are both one away from 22. Let's plot the guesses and absolute guessing errors. Notice the V shape. Let's look at a guessing game where the target number is zero. For a guess x, we can find the absolute guessing error, or distance from zero, by first calculating x minus zero, 
Because distance cannot be negative, what we want to find is the absolute value of the quantity x minus zero, or simply the absolute value of x. If function f gives the distance of x from zero, we can define it with the equation f of x equals the absolute value of x. Let's look more closely at this function. Function f is the absolute value function. It gives the distance of a value from zero by finding the absolute value of x. The graph of function f is a v-shape with the two lines converging at zero comma zero. We call this point the vertex of the graph. A vertex is the point where a graph changes direction from increasing to decreasing or vice versa. We can also think of a function like f as a piecewise function because different rules apply when x is less than zero and when it is greater than zero. The absolute value of x equals the opposite of x when x is less than zero and the absolute value of x equals x when x is greater than or equal to zero. Thank you for watching video six of seven for this unit on functions.